Well, the temperatures are changing, and of course the leaves, they're on the ground. And we are checking out some of the holiday celebrations around the Central Ohio area. We travel up to Shelby, and they have a huge Christmas celebration starting up, as well as over in Upper Sandusky. We finish up here in Hilliard. We're in Weaver Park right now, where they've got a ton of holiday celebrations going on, and it's all about that on today's show. Stay with us. You don't want to miss one minute. Hardware and paracord to winterware and housewares, the Shelby Mall, home of Glenn Surplus, is filled with items for every area of your home. We learn more about Glenn's and the upcoming Polar Express visit and celebration from Jennifer Arms. Glenn Surplus has 11 different apartments housewares, military, tires, rope, chain, paint, naga hide, mats, walk off mats, tools, lawn and garden, engines, hardware. We even sell slabs of wood for different types of projects. Starting November 22nd, we are having a spend $50, get a $10 gift card. Good for however long. Great way to get your Christmas shopping done. November 23rd, Sunday, before Thanksgiving, Ashland Railway's Polar Express and the Shelby Area Business Group's Moments of Christmas Magic is taking place with a parade kicking it off at 2 p.m. with the arrival of Santa and Mrs. Claus. They will be downtown until 4.30 is the ETA for the Polar Express train. It speaks for itself. It's absolutely beautiful. They completely decorated it up. All kinds of stuff for these kids. Santa and Mrs. Claus is going to be downtown for pictures with the public. Free. Just make sure you bring your own camera. Also, we have Frosty, Rudolph, Scooby-Doo, Elmo, an ice princess, a Christmas mouse, a Christmas penguin, um, Santa and Mrs. Claus, of course, the Grinch, the Scrinch girl, and the Christmas dog from the Grinch will all be downtown. So it should be from 2 to 5 p.m. that Sunday. If you need more information, the Shelby Area Business Group's Facebook page, come and like us. We're putting down the whole event itinerary by this Friday, and there is a ton. We have the Christmas story being um, reenacted by a local church. We have a live nativity scene. We got face painting. We got free popcorn. We have free train giveaways. We have bike raffles by the Shelby Cruise and Foundation um, for girls and boys. I want to give a big thank you to all of our platinum sponsors out there helping make this event uh, turn into such a success and possible for our community. And that is Ashland Railway, Arcelo Middle, Verizon, Glenn Surplus, Donnelly Ford of Shelby, Sportsman's Den, and the Shelby Cruise and Foundation. The name says it all. The coolest shop in town offers many unique items and services to residents and visitors of Shelby. We learned about the store's history and inspiring services offered at the coolest shop in town. Coolest shop in town is actually the Cola Shop in Town. A lot of people come in, they love our name. Um, they're like, wow, what is the Cola Shop in Town? Kind of give them a little bit of information about what all we do. We have access to like 3,000 items. We're an all-occasion gift shop. We also do custom vinyl, silkscreen t-shirts. We do graphic arts. Uh, we do magnets, um, decals, window decals, wall quotes, you name it, we can do it. Custom etching also. Our little back room, it consists of um, all donations. Um, we donate back out wigs, hats, prosthetic bras and forms. I'm actually a breast cancer survivor. Um, because of that, I really feel that it was a God thing. Um, he gave it to me to help others. So I've been cancer free for two and a half years now, um, but I get to be their shoulder. I get to be their leaning post. And when they come in, they find something that they can use. The stuff's expensive. I mean, they light up. The Shelby Area Business Group, we started about a year and a half ago. This is gonna be our second year of the Polar Express. We are so excited. Last year we drew over 3,500 people. This year we're hoping to at least bring in over 7,000. We have a lot of activities coming. Shelby Area Business Group, we have actually got together with other local businesses and we are actually working together as local businesses in the community to pull off these events. 
and it's what it takes, you know? It's, it's what it takes to pull people and to work together. The more people that work together, the better off this whole community will be. They can call 419-557-2928, or they can like us on our Facebook. Donnelly Ford of Shelby is proud to be a sponsor of the Moments of Christmas Magic Celebration. Ryan Sponsler told us about Donnelly's community involvement and how you can discover the Donnelly difference. We've been in business 37 years. We've got four locations in Ashland, Galleon, Shelby, and Mount Vernon. Well, 2015 is a big year for our products. We have the new aluminum F-150. We've got the new Navigator and Expedition coming out, the new Lincoln MKC, uh, the new Mustang. We've got a lot of great product coming out right now. We're very excited about it. Well, our lifetime warranty is exclusive to our used cars. Um, we started this program this year, and basically what it is is a powertrain warranty on most of our used cars. It's a lifetime warranty. As long as the customer, the original customer who purchased the vehicle has a lifetime warranty on the powertrain. Well, we're happy to be a key sponsor this year of the Polar Express, uh, the Sunday after Thanksgiving. And, and what a couple things we'll be doing is we'll be giving away goodie bags uh, at the event. We'll also be sponsoring a coloring contest in which the winner of that contest will get a major uh, a major award. Well, one big thing we're involved in in all of our uh, communities is the drive events, which we've done many of the uh, drive for your school events. We've raised cash for the booster programs. Uh, we've also done it with, for the United Way as well. So we're, we're involved in that twice a year for each store at least, sometimes three times a year as well. So the best way is to go onto our website, www.donnellyford.com. Obviously, the old-fashioned way, phone call is great as well. We like to be one-on-one -on -one with the customer and have that, that customer relationship with them the old-fashioned way, but our website's a great way to go and get, get any information you need, you can go to our website. So. Are your carpets looking dull and dingy? Visit the Out and About Columbus Facebook page now so you can enter to win a cleaning package from ProCare Carpet Cleaning. Opening just in time for the yearly Christmas celebration, Grammy's Room in Shelby combines two unique businesses under one roof, garment alterations and home decor. Lisa Fagan told us all about her new business coming to Shelby. Well, I'm operating Grammy's Room and I personally am a bridal and formal seamstress, helping brides make sure they have a custom fit for their wedding day and bustling their wedding dresses. I'm looking at going ahead and expanding into renting um, items that are needed for a wedding, uh, chair covers, tablescapes, helping decorate, using photographic props and things like that. I'm partnering with some other vendors whose focus is unique, vintage, upcycled, recycled items that can be worked in as props or part of your decor for your wedding. We're trying to look for unique, um, one-of-a-kind, vintage, handmade, homemade items, things that some of which have like a throwback to the past, but with a new twist for the future in them. I'm the newest member of the Shelby Area Business Group. They've welcomed me with open arms. I have volunteered to help them with uh, working on the 37 costumes that will be a part of the Polar Express Parade. We're gonna make sure that they're all in nice shape, mended, a couple little design changes that we have in mind. I also do some custom design work and making sure that the Polar Express Parade is the biggest that it's ever been. Last year, they had expectations and blew those out of the water. People could reach me at 419-989-3664. We're working on putting a website together. We also have a Facebook page listed as Grammy's Room. The hours here at the store are going to be Monday through Friday, 11 to 7, Saturday, 10 to 6, and I would be available other hours by appointment for brides who have busy schedules. If you've missed any of today's show, you can watch it online anytime, onacolumbus.com. For the latest information about the show and exclusive behind-the-scenes content, follow us on Twitter. That's at onacbus or twitter.com forward slash onacbus. From Christmas decorations and furniture to clothing to keep the family bundled and warm, the Shelby Thrift Store has a lot of items for any member of your family. Marshall Elgin told us about the selection and the thrift store's involvement in the Shelby Area Business Group. We learned that the Volunteers of America store in town was closing, and we saw that the we saw a need for there to be a thrift store in town still. So we bought their remaining stock and all their fixtures, 
and that was about eight years ago we opened up the Shelby thrift store. We sell a wide variety of things. Uh, shoes, toys, appliances, seasonal items, but most of all clothing. We have a lot of clothing. So we have a, a wide variety of women's clothing. Anything from PJ pants, sweats, very fancy sweaters, prom dresses even, and coats, especially this time of year. We're really excited to be working with local students to uh, to decorate the many storefronts that we have here in town. Uh, we're also raffling off a Polar Express uh, train set here in the store. Um, there are going to be a few other uh, toy raffles in the store as well, and we're offering 10% off of your purchases on the day of the event. The Shelby Area Business Group is a newer organization um, that gives the opportunity for local business owners to come together and share ideas and to work to bring the community together. You know, everybody at the Shelby Thrift Store is really excited to be working with this organization and it's bringing a lot of exciting things to town like the Polar Express event. We're on Facebook, uh, facebook.com forward slash Shelby Thrift Store. Uh, we also have our own website shelbythriftstore.com and you can call the store anytime at 567-844-0600. Connie's Place is a full service consignment shop located in downtown Shelby. Connie Robb told us about the store and their involvement in the Moments of Christmas Magic celebration. Uh, every week is a different adventure in my store. It's called Connie's Place. It's a consignment store. Um, so I sell for the community. Um, I have homemade items, uh, woodworking. I sell prom dresses, wedding dresses, paparazzi, jewelry, Avon, antique furniture, just whatever anybody wants to bring in. Polar Express is coming up November 23rd. Uh, I was so busy, I actually never got out my door, so I didn't even get to see it, but I, I'm changing things up this year, so I'll be able to participate outside of my store this year. Um, actually, behind me, um, people can stop and take pictures on their own. My business turns into a holiday store um, the night of the Polar Express, and Santa will be here the last two Saturdays of before Christmas. I take a different spin on the Polar Express where everybody else has the um, Santas and the elves and everything. Well, I had decided last year to take the biblical side, which would be the live nativity. I will have people um, walking the streets, looking for the star that will have baby Jesus in the storefront. Um, last year, people stopped in front and took pictures with their kids in front of the window. And it, there will be um, the manger scene with an angel. And then in the streets will be the shepherds and wise men that will be looking for and asking everyone if they've seen the Messiah. Black Saturday, November 29th, um, American Express is um, putting on an event to shop small, shop local. You will get free shopping bags that day, canvas shopping bags. I will have a list of all the businesses in Shelby that are participating that day. My store phone, 419-347-6676. The Fantasy of Lights is an annual holiday tradition in Upper Sandusky, Ohio. We stop by the New Jeans Shop in downtown Upper Sandusky to learn more about the Fantasy of Lights and City of Upper Sandusky from Dan Reed. Upper's Winter Fantasy of Lights is a winter one Wonderland of millions of lights and so many displays. It's just unbelievable at Upper Sandusky's uh, Harrison Smith Park, which is very conveniently located just right outside of the immediate downtown area here in Upper Sandusky. Over 700 volunteers put this together. Again, millions of lights, 65 displays last year. And not only will this put you in the Christmas spirit, you're going to get in the holiday mood by coming to Upper Sandusky, the music wafting through the air, uh, the lights and so on that are all offered there, but it's also a great time to share with your family. We invite people to come in, load up the car. It's a $5 donation, we ask, to get in Upper's Winter Fantasy of Lights, and uh, all of this goes for a wonderful cause. So you're having fun and you're doing good. Uh, we've raised over $360,000 for local nonprofit organizations and charities over the years. We started this in 1997 and it has grown. Well, the Fantasy of Lights uh, starts December 1st, runs through December the 30th. We open at 6 p.m. every night. And of course, with the time change, the weather's getting cold, hopefully we get a little bit of snow on the ground. It's gonna be absolutely gorgeous as you drive up there. By the way, there's no missing it because as you come in on the east side of Upper Sandusky, it is utterly illuminated with all these lights. 
Have a suggestion for you though. Best time to come? opening weekend, because on that Saturday, it's home for the holidays, which is put together by uh, the Upper Sandusky Chamber of Commerce, a lot of organizations, individuals, and businesses uh, that have just a terrific hometown feel right here in Upper Sandusky. And we're so proud of our downtown all the businesses, restaurants, uh, retail shops, and so on. You can uh, get furniture items, clothing items, jewelry items, all sorts of knickknacks. Come to Upper Sandusky, do the Fantasy Lights open, opening weekend, and uh, experience all that we have to offer here in downtown Upper Sandusky. You'll really enjoy it, and you can do all your Christmas shopping. Well, we invite people to come to the uh, Upper Sandusky Chamber website. It's UpperSanduskyChamber.com. A staple within the Upper Sandusky community for generations, Kaler Drug has served their community for over 78 years. Andy and Brenda Kaler filled us in on their history as well as their wide selection of art and hard to find Ohio State merchandise. We're at the Kaler Drug Company. Uh, we're in Upper Sandusky, Ohio. Uh, downtown, one block north of the square been here for quite some time. Father worked in the store in the early 1900s. Uh, about 1936, he put his name on the store. Um, been here for about 78 years and I joined him as a pharmacist in 1973. We're pretty much an independent pharmacy, okay? We, we take pride in the fact that we're an independent pharmacy, we're a good neighbor pharmacy. We specialize in, in, in our prescription department. We think we offer a, 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 just a, a big service to a small community. We showcase Diana Swartz and Joni Merrick's artwork. They are local, um, they have a local connection to Upper Sandusky, so uh, they're a very unique artist and we're very proud to carry their artwork. Yeah, my husband and I are crazy Buckeye fans and we started out with just a four foot section years ago and kept seeing the need to grow and expand and, and we have turned uh, part of the store into a totally Buckeye shop. So we feature a lot of unique things. We don't go into the clothing, but we go into all the other stuff, the unique things that um, Christmas is coming up and you'll sure want to check that out. Actually, we sponsor one of the displays down there. It's the season's greeting sign. So you're responsible to put it up and take it down every year. And we also, every Christmas Eve, we go out there and, and work the Fantasy of Lights to take money and we also sell the gift certificates here. So we have some involvement with it and we're very proud to showcase that in the community. We're in the phone book, 419-294-1916. We have a website, it's called thekalerstadium.com. Are your carpets looking dull and dingy? Visit the Out and About Columbus Facebook page now so you can enter to win a cleaning package from ProCare Carpet Cleaning. Located in a building that has stood for over a century, Shotzi's is a great place to grab a bite to eat or a tasty beverage before or after visiting the Fantasy of Lights in Upper Sandusky. Brian and Mary Pino told us more about their bar and grill. Well, this building has been a restaurant in this community for over 100 years in one form or another. It's changed names and changed hands, but it's always kind of been here as a staple. We still have uh, the picture of the original restaurant and the original owner in the front. We still have the original dumbwaiter hanging from the ceiling. Just little touches like that that make it look like it's always been here. Well, it's obvious that this establishment has been here for a while, that this building has been here, but we still try and keep a modern uh, palette. We still try and keep modern menu ideas and uh, just incorporate that into what we do. Well, we have a full line of seasonal beers. Uh, we're coming out of the Oktoberfest and going right into the seasonals. You're know, always gonna have the Great Lakes and the Samuel Adamses. Uh, we've got a full martini line, switching again over from sort of the fruity uh, sort of drinks to the Irish coffees and, and seasonal holiday things that are made with ginger and cinnamon. And Bryce Hall is our full service event coordinating staff. We have a full time event coordinator. Uh, we have tailored menus to just about any needs, up to 200 people events, things of that nature. Anything from a business meeting to a bridal shower to we just had a very large uh, wedding reception there just this past weekend. My wife Mary and I are very big in being involved in the community and giving back to the area that we live in and do business in. So here she is to tell you a little bit more about it. Upper Sandusky is a small town and we're a family owned small business. We are members of the Chamber of Commerce and as a restaurant we want to be involved in the community so we buy at local beef and produce whenever possible. We do sponsor the football team and basketball team t-shirts that they throw out into the crowds. 
stuff like that. Sometimes um, we send food over to the football team. Check us out on our Facebook page, Shotzi's Bar and Grill. Or they could even call us at 419-731-4030. If you've missed any of today's show, you can watch it online anytime, onacolumbus.com. For the latest information about the show and exclusive behind-the-scenes content, follow us on Twitter. That's at onacbus or twitter.com forward slash onacbus. Located at Malabar Farm State Park, the home of Pulitzer Prize winning author Louis Bromfield, the Malabar Farm restaurant is nestled in a beautiful setting and features fantastic food choices. Kim Williams told us more about the restaurant and mouthwatering menu. Malabar Farm Restaurant uses all fresh local meat. We make everything in the house. Everything's made here from scratch. Our pasta, our salad dressings, our buns and bread. We've been here since 2007. The chef and I have owned it for about four years. And we have a really long-term staff. And they're all professional and dedicated and love what they do. Well, we have two dining rooms. We do private get-togethers in either one at request. We also do catering at Pew Cabin. Pew Cabin's five minutes from here. It is the cabin that was in the beginning of the Shawshank Redemption. So it's part of Malabar Farm State Park. It seats 50. We decorate it for Christmas. It's great for Christmas, Christmas parties. We do a lot of functions there. It's in the woods. It's beautiful. Well, we're doing a Thanksgiving meal. So we'll serve Thanksgiving dinner from 11 until 5. Of course, there's turkey on there and beef, chicken, pork, fish. Uh, that's a set menu, it's a three course meal. We are closed on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. We will do special dishes every day of the week. We do special features and different soups, different things that the kitchen creates. At a, a, you know, they like to put things together. So reservations are a good idea. They're always suggested. In January, we'll only be open on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But the rest of the year, we're here every day except for Monday. Just January, we do the shorter hours. We have wine dinners. Uh, we're having a Christmas wine dinner December 8th. Claudio Salvador will be joining us. He's an Italian winemaker and importer. We're delighted that he'll be returning. We'll have our Valentine's wine dinner in February. Of course, we always put those on Facebook. You can call us at 419-938-5205. Our website's malabarfarmrestaurant.com. You may know our next stop as Shawshank State Prison, but the proper name is the Ohio State Reformatory located in Mansfield. We learn more about upcoming events and attractions at the Reformatory from Paul Smith. The reformatory was established in uh, 1886. Uh, the first inmates arrived here in 1896. It was opened until 1990 when it was closed and the new prisons were built and all of the inmates were moved to those prisons. Uh, 1994, the Historic Society, uh, Mansfield Reformatory Preservation Society was able to purchase the building and then uh, take care of it and renovate it. And we've been doing that for 20 years and we come up with new programming all the time. And the uh, holiday Day tours are part of that new programming. On Friday, December 5th, we'll be doing a tree lighting ceremony. That happens at 6.30. Uh, it's open to the public. Children are definitely welcome. Uh, that evening, we'll be having tours throughout the building. Santa Claus will be here. Uh, there will be a hot chocolate bar, and uh, it'll be a nice family event for that evening. Sunday, December 14th is Family Day. Uh, we have our regular tours from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, family Day is from 1 to 3. Uh, children under 12 get admitted free. Uh, we have cookie making stations. Uh, Santa Claus will be here. Um, we have uh, sleigh rides and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff going on that day. So really great family day for uh, everybody to bring their kids out and have a good time with us. Friday, December 19th is kind of fun. Uh, we're doing National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. We'll have that on the big screen. Uh, you need to purchase your tickets early for that because we run out of space pretty quick. Uh, we've done movie nights before. They're pretty successful. They're pretty fun. The movie night is good for ages 13 and up and make sure to wear your ugliest sweater because we will have prizes. The best way to get a hold of us is to go to our website, ohiostatereformatory.org, or they can give us a call at 419-522-2644 and just press the button for our program director. Well, we're in Weaver Park in Hilliard, and of course, not much going on right now, but that's all going to change in about a week or so as this becomes a historical Christmas village with a lot of things happening in the Hilliard area. We had an opportunity to talk to Christy Clark from Destination Hilliard. Hilliard is just an amazing town to me. You know, I grew up in Columbus, and I remember when this was just a little 
little stop on the map, and it's just grown so much. And with that, it's nice to see the, the, the holiday celebrations that you guys have. And, of course, that's what we're doing here today, finding out what's going on in Hilliard. So give us the, give us the scoop. Okay. Well, for the last four years, we've built up the uh, Christmas festivities at the Historical Village at Weaver Park. And it's an 1800s authentic village, and we have all the buildings open. They're all decorated with lights and period decorations. But we also have all kinds of live entertainment with music. We have um, the giant elf on stilts that's coming Saturday, December 6th. And on the 14th, we have the Grinch. Uh, and then um, on Sunday, the 14th, we have Santa in the caboose. It's just a unique um, atmosphere with the historic village. And we have live animals. There's all kinds of different music. There's refreshments. And best of all, it's free for all of the families. Chrissy, how did this happen? How did this get started? I mean, four years ago, you guys weren't doing, or five years ago, you weren't doing anything. Four years ago, you started this. How, how has this kind of got started and, and grown? Well, at first, um, we just had the city tree lighting, like most cities do. Um, but then, when Destination Hilliard was formed four years ago, um, we have a group of nonprofit organizations that meet frequently. And we all said one of the things that we really wanted to do was increase the Christmas festivities for our residents and to bring visitors to our community. And so, all of these um, groups have come together and they put on the entertainment. So, we even have the Hilliard Arts Council that does a Christmas carol for us put Messiah concert on we have the Hilliard Suzuki strings all the different groups that come together so this wouldn't be possible without all that collaboration and, uh, we can go online and get that information as well right absolutely you can either go to and a lot of places here in Hilliard but more importantly you can go to destinationhilliard.com and we'll have all the events listed well if you're looking for a warm and cozy place to celebrate those holidays great gift certificates and wonderful food the Starliner Diner who's been on our show several times is back today to talk about some of those holiday ideas we got a hold of ronnie phillips and this is what he told us you know it's always a pleasure to come to starliner diner this is such a popular place everybody just enjoys coming here the wonderful food and you guys have been here for what 19 years 19 years it'll be 19 years this year yeah, what do you think that success has uh, contributed to i mean we have a we have a really comfortable atmosphere um it's kind of funky and fun our staff's all been here a long time we have a lot of regular customers so i feel like it's just a, a fun place to be for people is there any story to the murals we see on the wall and the clocks on the wall and some of the kind of the bizarre things you see in the decor there's there's a little story for everything and it's just a it's an eclectic mix of everything we've come across over the years well of course you know holidays are coming up we hate to see the cold weather coming but we know the holidays are coming and the starliner diner is kind of one of those warm places where it's kind of cool to celebrate the holidays right so let's talk about what you guys can do for us and for people that want to come and have parties and so forth uh, we do a lot of parties in the holiday we have a room separate from uh, from our dining room we do a lot of gift cards we mail gift cards out people get them at the host stand um, we just try to try to accommodate everybody we can and and we can have them separate together whatever they want to do you got some featured dishes here today so let's talk about some of the dishes that you have we have our Cuban French toast here um, it's a house made bread then it's a uh, battered deep fried covered with powdered sugar and fruit it's a little sweet absolutely delicious uh, we've got our huevos rancheros um, it's a little spicy not terribly so it's uh, it's good for when it's cold outside it's absolutely <laughs> the way to go is that what they call comfort food absolutely that is the epitome of comfort food fresh blueberry and banana pancakes slice them up fresh uh, real blueberries throw them in there it's absolutely delicious the farmer's omelet um, it's another great one for the winter time it's, uh, it's it warms you up it's got bacon in it potatoes uh, sour cream onions it's just absolutely delicious and how can we contact you for more information uh, we have a website starlinerdiner.com um, you can always reach us at the restaurant 529-1198 Thank you.